Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another fun-filled video here at JD the Gamer on YouTube. We're here today with some special MysteryGrill.com mystery boxes. We have two of those, and also we have a little side mystery box that I just picked up from Hot Topics. So, let's get into it. So like I mentioned, we're here today to open up two MysteryGrail.com mystery boxes. This was from their New Year's Eve launch. Um, it was the 555 Mystery Grail drop. What you can get in this box is pretty awesome. Here it is right there. I'll pop it up on the screen. Um, so basically, you are guaranteed just one pop, okay? There's no, there's no guarantee on specific value or anything, but you're just guaranteed a random Funko Pop. You're also guaranteed a $5 gift card to mysterygrail.com. You're also guaranteed a $5 uh, gift card from popshield.com. And then a $5 gift card to 7 bucksapopcom So it's the 555 deal. I thought it was a good deal. Here are the boxes right here. Usually the, mix, the mystery grail boxes are bigger because they're, they're just a bigger box. But these ones are smaller. One pop. Um, you hope to hit the, the big one like I showed in the picture up there. But these are it right there. Uh, but like I said, uh, we are going to do something different. Before those, we are going to get into, I went to my local Hot Topic today. And they had a couple mystery boxes. Now, I've bought in some mystery boxes from there before. Uh, but they weren't really boxes. They were just kind of bags with some pops in it just to see what kind of stuff they had. And it's nothing amazing. This mystery box was 30 bucks. The reason why I got it though is because I guess I was told by the Hot Topic associate that Funko sent them boxes to put them in. So these are the boxes that it came in. Pretty cool. Um, like I said, it has it has the skew and everything of all the pops that are in here. Probably going to be, you know, pops that they couldn't sell so they're just trying to get rid of them in a mystery box. But I thought the, the, the packaging was cool by itself so i was like you know what i'll pick one up for 30 bucks see what we get don't expect much but let's po pop this bad boy open and see what we get so here we go i'm popping this open i'm gonna reach in i don't know how this is set up i'm just gonna reach in and fill around i was told there were six pops in here so it feels like they're just all lined up one two three so there'll be three on top and three on bottom so i'm just gonna i don't think they're any type of order they're just in here so let's see what the first pop is and it is bam we got black manta from aquaman this is from and the lost kingdom so this is the second aquaman that just came out um that's not bad you know they have a sell sticker on it right there for seven bucks that they were selling it for if they can focus yep so it is what it is like i said i don't expect there to be you know any grail in this box but i thought the packaging was cool which i'm gonna keep so, Black Manta, first pop. I don't have this one, and I do have the Amazon exclusive Diamond Edition of Aquaman from this set. So, it's fine. It'll go with it. That's pop number one. Let's keep on going. Pop number two in this Hot Topic mystery box is going to be, it's a little heavier, it's going to be uh, Helena or Helena Shaw from Indiana Jones. Again, another pop that was on clearance. Um, I decided I did not see this movie. I did not collect any of these pops So this will probably end up being uh, for sale on whatnot eventually I'm putting together some pops right now to start uh, to do my next show on whatnot um, Either that or Macari, but yeah, not a bad pop. They had this one listed for ten bucks It's okay. I'm not an Indiana Jones fan. So this will be for sale in a future what not auction or Macari like I said but that's pop number two let's get into number three pop number three of this hot topic mystery box is going to be bam, Talia Al Ghul from Batman uh, 2023 summer convention limited edition not a bad one this was one that when it came out I was thinking about picking up uh, but I didn't actually pick it up so they had it on clearance for seven bucks not too bad can't complain um it's in so far all three of these pops have been in really good shape and that's all i look for in these mystery boxes because you never know they might try to throw in some crappy ones but 
like I also said, I figured that um, they were just going to put in pops that they couldn't sell on clearance. But, you know, six pops, 30 bucks, can't complain. That's pop number three. Let's get into number four. Pop number four from the Hot Topic Mystery Box. If I can get it out without damaging anything. I want to keep this box because it looks cool. There we go. We got it. And it's out. Okay. Pop number four. Here we go. It is Iris West from The Flash. So, eh. I, another movie I did not see. Um, I picked up a couple of pops from this line initially, like the Diamond Batman. I think I have General Zod. I do have Supergirl. Uh, I think I have Dark Flash as well, but I didn't end up keeping all of them. I sold some of them because I'm not really... I didn't see the movie. It didn't do so well. I was never really a big Flash fan. I only got them because I'm a DC guy. Um, as you can see, Superman's up there. I do love DC, but... Iris West, it was on clearance for 10 bucks, so can't complain. That's pop number four. Let's see what number five is. Pop number five out of the Hot Topic Mystery Box. So far, nothing really that amazing. We will check uh, prices on PPG on Hobby DB uh, after I'm open to all or get all six of them out. But let's check pop number five, and it is another Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones himself, though, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I can't complain with that one. They also had this one set for 10 bucks. I have seen the original Indiana Jones movies. Never saw the newer one. Uh, so I, I'm actually, I'm happier with this one than Helena Shaw than that one. Um, I might end up keeping this one just because he, he is an iconic character. Uh, but yeah, so that's pop number five. Let's see what the last pop in this mystery box is going to be. Pop number six and the last one out of this Hot Topic mystery box that I picked up on a whim is going to be another Indiana Jones. We got Teddy Kumar from Indiana Jones. Um, yeah, again, I I didn't I, I wasn't gonna collect this set. This was also another one that they had listed for ten bucks. But three Indiana Jones pops. I guess that's okay. But let's go ahead and check what these values are. Okay, so first one up, we're just going to go ahead and do the Teddy Kumar since I just pulled that one out. That one is coming up at $12. Not bad. Let's check the rest of them. Next one up, we're going to check this Helena Shaw. And it is coming up as another 12 bucks. Next up from The Flash, we got Iris West. Let's go ahead and check her value. And Hobby DB does not have a value listed for her. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's probably 12 bucks. They're usually about, that's about the normal price if it's a newer pop or just a common. So we're just going to go ahead and, for, for, for the video's sake, say 12 bucks. Next up, we're going to check the price of Indiana Jones himself. And it is also coming up as 12 bucks. I think we see a theme here. Next up, we got Talia from Batman, the 2023 Summer Convention sticker it is not the con sticker it is the shared sticker the con sticker is hitting for $17 so that doesn't bode well for the shared sticker which is going for $10 so so far one more pop to check but so far she is the lowest one in this in the in the mystery box last up from the hot topic mystery box we got black manta let's go ahead and check manta and he is going for 12 bucks so when you take all six pops into account, the box itself was 30 bucks to purchase. The actual return on value, the PPG value is going to be 70 bucks. So we actually got more than double the value. Will I actually get that value for these pops? Probably not. But at least according to Hobby DB, all you can ask for is that you at least get your return on value, at least get the 30 bucks back. Looks like we got that. Maybe I can get 30 bucks if I sell them all. But there's the Hot Topic uh, Mystery Box. Now let's get into what we came for. The MysteryGrill.com Mystery Box. So here we go. We got our first one here. We're going to open up the second one after this. I'm going to go ahead and take my blade and pop this bad boy open. There is a gold sticker on it. Now with Mystery, if you're unfamiliar with MysteryGrill.com, what they do is if you hit one of the big hits, which is right here. I'll put it up again on the screen. Right there. If you hit one of the big hits, You'll have a star on the pop itself that said that's like you hit a you hit a grail or something like that. So 
I'm gonna open the box off to the side here. Actually, how should I do it? Should I let you guys see it? Let's let you guys see it. So I'm gonna open the box, but I don't, so I don't know where, like I said, there's gift cards in here, so I don't know where they're gonna be, but let's go ahead and open it up, see what we get together in three, two, one. Is not a grail, what is this? It is a Hot Topic exclusive Gouda Gutame Tama The Lazy Egg I've never heard of this It is in a pop in a shield protected up That's kind of cool I never heard of this though Gutame The Lazy Egg Hot Topic exclusive It is a 2020 pop But there we go. Let's check the value of this Gutame, Gutama, the lazy egg. So checking the value of this pot, it looks like there's a lot of different ones, but it looks like this one, which is Gutame laying down, hot top exclusive. It looks like it is 20 bucks. So the box itself was 15, 15, I think. I will have to check into that, but it, it was somewhere between 15 and 20 bucks. So we, it looks like we got our value back. Nothing amazing, but we still have one more box to check. Here we go. We got one more mystery grail box to look into. Uh, let's see if we can hit us a grail. I'm really, I would really love to get that Daenerys NFT if it's really in the box, but that's on another subject. Here we go in three, two, one is it a grail it is not a grail but it is a pretty cool one looks like we got 2021 limited edition summer or fall convention carnage also in a pot protector looks pretty good outside the, the or like the pop itself inside same thing we got fruit chews and then we got some scratchers let's check the value of this carnage so checking the value of this 2021 fall convention carnage looks like they have three different stickers for it. you can get the walmart only sticker the comic conic sticker sticker itself or the one i have the 2021 fall convention the share sticker and it looks like that one is going for 17 dollars so i did check into the order each box was 15 bucks so a total of 30 dollars and then you had shipping so i think it was about 35 ish if you add both pops together, it comes out to $37. So it looks like I at least got my money back. But then you account for all the, the, the different gift cards that you get in the box, the scratchers that you could get some cool stuff from. Not too bad. I didn't get nothing too amazing. But, you know, I've never really gotten anything. I've gotten Mystery Grill po boxes a couple times. Never really got nothing amazing. But, ha you know, it's still fun. It's a cheaper mystery box that you don't have to put so much into to get stuff back so it's fun to try so with that being said we ended up getting from our two mystery boxes gutama lazy egg still don't know who that is and carnage from the movie venom well there you have it everybody i hope you enjoyed another mystery box opening from me jd the gamer i'm my goal is to get at least one video uploaded a week We'll see, maybe there are some weeks where I can get multiple videos up, but at least one video a week. So this is going to be video one of week one of the year 2024. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Let me know if you've gotten any mystery boxes or if you think I should pick up any different mystery boxes, which one should I grab to open up on the stream? Until next time, man, it's your boy, JD the Gamer, and I am out this thing, baby. Peace.